Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Liam with AWS, and I'm here in New York City with Ozzy from Domino Data Lab. Hey, it's great to be here. Welcome. Uh, so tell me a little bit about what Domino Data Lab does. Sure. Uh, Domino is a platform for data science and model management. Uh, we allow uh, customers to do uh, predictive analytics, uh, predictive modeling, uh, and model publishing. And you work with very large-scale customers, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, huge folks in finance, underwriting, uh, logistics, uh, uh, pretty much all over the place. So what we have here is a design for a large customer. Do you want to talk a little bit about how this works? Sure, absolutely. So this is a design for uh, Moody's Analytics. Um, kind of starting from the top here, uh, we use uh, a ELB uh, as our ingress. Uh, sort of the benefits here are implicit uh, security, uh, single point of access, uh, and of course uh, load balancing for our front end and routing layer. Uh, this is where we have uh, sort of the intelligence uh, to route request either to our uh, core services layer here uh, or uh, to uh, the places where we're actually doing work over in our scalable uh, compute cluster. All right, so with core services, I see uh, you've got some containers in here as well. Yes, absolutely. So uh, Domino itself uh, is built on containers uh, throughout. Uh, in particular, uh, processing for data science and model publishing uh, happens uh, in containers. So uh, whether we are doing uh, interactive uh, work in, say, a Jupyter Notebook in our studio session, uh, that is happening over here uh, on our scalable compute cluster, or uh, publishing a model uh, to Kubernetes. And of course, uh, Kubernetes uh, gives us uh, the wonderful benefits of uh, implicit HA um, and deployment uh, lifecycle. So how do you manage the, the cluster in Kubernetes? Uh, so we use COPS. Um, COPS was a very conscious choice uh, after a long uh, journey uh, sort of acclimating ourselves to Kubernetes. Uh, it's lovely because it just works. Uh, it uses uh, underlying uh, AWS services uh, in great ways, lets us manage the whole life cycle uh, with uh, a single command line. So what kind of challenges did you see? It sounds like you went through a lot of different iterations. Yeah, certainly. Um, so the biggest challenge for us was uh, really um, understanding how to use Kubernetes best. Uh, and the best way I can sum that up um, is understanding where we should change to work better uh, with uh, all of the sense, all of the experience that's built into Kubernetes, as opposed to trying to uh, sort of customize it for our own purposes. So you essentially fought with a little bit, then, then learned how to work best in that environment? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so now we treat it uh, sort of as a unifying abstraction uh, for all the things we do. Um, there's a great vision of the future uh, where we can consume a service like EKS uh, or a generic uh, on-premises uh, Kubernetes cluster. So that's interesting. So you, you mentioned on-premise. So the, the thing that I struck me the most about Domino Data Lab is you actually allow customers to work how they want to work, where they want to work. So can you talk a little bit about how you accomplish that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this is a big concern for pretty much all of our customers. Um, if you are serious about data science, if you're serious about model management, uh, you almost necessarily have uh, valuable data, valuable IP. Uh, so you tend to be very opinionated about where that goes, what you do with it. So we need to be able to uh, accommodate folks uh, that have those requirements, um, and Terraform helps us do that. Uh, basically, uh, a combination of Terraform uh, and Jinja templating uh, let us create uh, infrastructure that matches uh, what uh, the customers have uh, or require us to use. So that is, uh, we can create this entire architecture end-to-end, -end, uh, or we can selectively uh, use pieces that may be uh, provided by the customer, as well as, say, the things that we create from whole cloth ourselves. Very nice. So what were some of the challenges you found when dropping into different environments? Like, for instance, the Moody's environment or any large customer. What were the challenges you found with Terraform when building out into these environments? Sure. Um, probably the biggest challenge uh, is really when dealing with uh, large companies, uh, particularly folks who are newer to the cloud, uh, concepts like infrastructure as code may be brand new to them. Um, so 
uh, their experience working with these services may be very different than ours, uh, and they don't uh, don't grok that uh, uh, we can uh, create all of these resources in the first 30 seconds of running a deploy. Um, so really just socializing them to best practices uh, and really being, uh, uh, as opposed to a vendor, being like a technology partner um, on their, their journey. I see the Moody's infrastructure. I, I think we haven't got down to S3. So let's talk about how S3 fits into your environment, uh, specifically to the, the Moody's environment. Sure. Uh, S3 is huge for us. Uh, basically, um, it is our uh, store of state for all things. So uh, within Domino, uh, we are versioning code alongside data, alongside results. Uh, all of those things are going into uh, S3 and then uh, coming back out uh, as needed. Um, so S3 is great for this because it is uh, extremely uh, durable, available, um, and it's extremely cost effective. In an environment like this, working with companies like you do, what, what are the security constraints you find people uh, needing and how do you achieve them? Sure. Um, so the, the place we start with this uh, is, again, up top, uh, having that single point of uh, ingress, uh, being able to uh, apply ACLs uh, in ACLs, uh, uh, is, a, is a key there, uh, as well as uh, the way we've laid out uh, the EC2 uh, infrastructure. So we're using uh, different subnets, security groups, uh, et cetera, so that within the environment, uh, only those uh, services that need to talk to each other can. So yeah, it looks like you've got a very secure, scalable architecture that takes something as complex as data science and makes it as simple as possible for a customer. Yeah, absolutely. That is our really our overriding goal. Uh, we want to be uh, the tool set, the platform, the workflow uh, that just as we focus on our core competence of making uh, a platform, uh, they can focus on doing data science uh, rather than managing infrastructure or security concerns. All right. Well, thank you for showing me your architecture. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for watching This Is My Architecture. See you next time.